Hi, I'm Ted. In this video, we'll be making a sawhorse just like this. It's very strong, it's easy to build, it's stackable, and it only takes five 2 by 4 by 8s to make a pair of these. This is the lumber for one sawhorse. These three pieces are going to be the top. They're 32 inches a piece, which is one 2 by 4 And we have four legs. They're 29 and a half inches each. And we've got a little 15 degree angle cut on them where they're gonna contact the floor so they sit nice and flush with the floor. There's also a couple little pieces here at 16 inches. They've also got a 15 degree angle on them. I'm gonna show you how I cut the legs because that's the only one that's a little different than a normal cut. Cutting the angle on the legs is simple. We'll just set the miter saw at 15 degrees. Turn your board on its axis. Cut. We have a nice little 15 degree angle. Okay, these three 32 inch pieces are going to make up the top piece, which is just going to be an I beam. We're just going to put a mark in the center of these two, turn it up on its axis like this, and get a horizontal mark right between both of them. And for the center piece, we're just going to go ahead and we're going to make a mark at three quarters of an inch in and this will be a vertical mark up and down and we'll just lay one board down line this mark up here put the other one on top line up the mark and there you have the eye beam now with this one I'm going to just go ahead and nail it with my pneumatic nailer I'm not really worried about pre-drilling or the wood splitting because it's just going to be a sawhorse we're going to line it up, get it really close, get these marks lined up. I'm going to shoot to one end, and we're just going to turn it around, line up the mark, shoot the other end, turn it over, line up the top piece, Get nice and flush. We're going to put a nail on the corner, very edge of this one. And I'm going to turn around and put a nail on the very edge of the other one. But that'll be the last nails I put in this one for the top because I'm going to be ripping plywood and maybe some 2x4s on it. And I'm not going to want my saw blade to hit these nails. So I'll have a nail on either end. And if it comes time to replace it, it'll make it simple to pop off and put another one on. take the top part and face it to me and then we simply lay the legs in we just want to make sure we orient the angle right so that it lines up correctly then you just shoot them in then I'm going to tip the arm down right into that bottom member very strong pretty easy stuff now we're going to put the other one on Good. Now we just got to put the braces on. Again, he's going to be a 15 degree angle. I'll slide the first one up into place. And we'll just double check real quick to see that it's all even and looking pretty good. 
They're both sitting right at eight and a half inches. That looks good to me. Stackable on the next one you build instead of putting the braces on the inside, put them on the outside. 